welcome to another GCSE economics video with me, Mr. Goff, from mrgoff.com. This video will focus on evaluating the effects of exchange rate changes. If a country has a rising exchange rate, then their exports are going to become more expensive. This means less people overseas will want to purchase them. At the same time, imports are becoming cheaper. This may mean that in the domestic market, domestic products lose out here as well. Lower demand for our domestic products means that we don't have to produce as many products and it leads to lower output. This means less people are needed to produce that output. If we look at the effects of a falling exchange rate, we can see it's the opposite. Now our exports become cheaper, more people want to buy them overseas. They're also better able to compete against imported goods in the domestic market. Higher demand overall for our products means we need higher output. And to produce this, we need to have more people employed. As we have seen, a rising exchange rate means lower demand for our products. This helps to keep the pressure off prices and prevents demand pull inflation. However, a falling exchange rate, which increases demand for our products, can lead to demand pull inflation. For firms that import a lot of inputs to their production process from overseas, a rising exchange rate means cheaper foreign inputs, while a falling exchange rate means more expensive foreign inputs. Because a rising exchange rate leads to less exports and more imports, it's likely to lead to a current account deficit. Meanwhile, a falling exchange rate, which will mean more exports and less imports, is likely to lead to a current account surplus. Let's have a look at the effect on consumers. If we consider a rising exchange rate, consumers will be able to benefit from cheaper imported goods. This might mean better quality goods and a wider selection of goods as well, at a better price. All of these things will mean that consumers have got more money left over and are happier with their goods, meaning a better quality of life. On the other hand, if we have a falling exchange rate, then imported goods become more expensive and consumers will not be able to afford as many of them. This means for many people, there will be less choice over goods and a higher price, meaning they have less money left over and they're not as happy with the goods that they buy. These things contribute to a lower quality of life. For domestic consumers that want to take a holiday abroad, a rising exchange rate will mean they'll get more of that foreign currency for their pound and be able to have a better time. A falling exchange rate will mean their trip is going to be more expensive and it will cost them more pounds for the same stuff. Rising interest rates lower overall demand for our products and help keep a lid on inflation. This means real incomes are more valuable than they would otherwise be. At the same time, with inflation under control, the Reserve Bank might choose to lower interest rates to stimulate the economy so that firms are able to grow and become more competitive internationally. Consumers who wish to borrow, or those that already have floating rate mortgages, will also benefit from this lower interest rate. On the other hand, falling exchange rates mean there's more demand for our products and this can lead to higher inflation. This means lower real incomes and it can also lead to the Bank of England deciding they need to raise interest rates in order to curb inflation. If they raise these interest rates, this will have a big effect on consumers that need to borrow money and those that already have floating rate mortgages. When it comes to producers, those that get some of their raw materials and components from abroad will face issues based on rising or falling exchange rates. A rising exchange rate will mean cheaper imported raw materials and components, while the falling exchange rate will mean more expensive raw materials and components. For producers that export their goods and services to foreign markets, a rising exchange rate means more expensive exports and probably less sales, whereas a falling exchange rate means cheaper exports and more sales. As exchange rates rise, Firms that sell overseas holidays will benefit from increased demand as the overall cost of these holidays goes down. When we see a falling exchange rate, 
firms that are part of the UK hospitality and tourism sector might see a bonus as more people from overseas are willing to come and travel to the UK as it's cheaper. As we've previously seen, rising exchange rates lead to lower inflation, which helps to keep the pressure off wages. This helps firms to keep their costs down. It also leads to lower interest rates, which makes it easier for firms to borrow to be able to invest and expand and take advantage of economies of scale and grow in size. On the other hand, falling exchange rates lead to higher inflation, which can mean increased costs for UK firms and decreased international competitiveness. They also mean higher interest rates, which can prevent firms from being able to invest and expand and take advantage of economies of scale. That brings us to the end of this video evaluating the effects of exchange rate changes. Join me in the next video when I'll be having a look at globalisation. Use the resources at mrgoff.com to help you revise economics. And until next time, it's bye for now.